Hello and welcome to your morning live. Things are beginning to look a lot like Christmas here in the studio this morning. Here it is. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, I'm shattered. I've been up all night doing this, I tell you. Um, it's great, isn't it? You, it put a real big smile on your face when you walked in it this morning, didn't it? did. I was You're like happy. a little kid oh, all over great, again. <laughs> and then there's sausage rolls, there's pork pies, there's scotch eggs. That's not what we have for breakfast. <laughs> um, but it's basically about deciding what's a substantial meal in a pub, isn't mm. it? Is a scotch egg a substantial meal for you, Kim? Mm, I mean, that would depend on the size of it, I think. Oh, so it's about the size for you, is it? <laughs> Yeah. Don't anyway. <laughs> you went there. Um, no, but that's the thing. It's about whether pubs are going to have uh, this food substantial meals, about whether they can stay open based on the size of the meal. And, of course, that's in England, and it's a bit different in Wales. On Friday, so many rules to keep up with, as always, isn't it? Yeah, there is. And also, it's getting a lot colder outside. But what does that mean for our pets? Dr James is here with our Oliver to tell us what we need to do to keep them healthy this winter. But before that, James, you've got some aid, you know, to, to keep their paws really healthy in, in the winter months. Mm. Oh, that's good it's, not, it's not really something you think about, is it? And where do you stand on, on coats with dogs? Because that's oh, quite surprising. <laughs> no, hang on, this is a genuine question. Come because on, They are, actually can be quite essential for older dogs, can't they, in particular? Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. And Oliver, obviously. Yeah. Oh. He's not doing much. Though, <laughs> He's not yeah. really, no. He's after a pay rise. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> next, <laughs> next this morning, along with so many other businesses, lots of charities are really feeling the pinch this Christmas, which, of course, has a huge knock-on effect for the people that they'd normally be trying to help. All right. Yeah, well said, Nikki. It's not just dinner, there's so much going on. It's such an experience, isn't it? If yeah. they can be supported to help. Yeah, it really is, and they Lovely. do need support more than ever. So if you want to help or donate gifts or your time, there are lots of local initiatives. So check out what's happening in your area. And we'll be posting up details of national schemes on our website and social media pages later on. Amber and Nima, join us on Morning Live this morning. Thank you so much for coming on and, and telling your story. It's good to see you both this morning. Uh, Amber, what was it about Nima's story that made you uh, want to help him? Help? It's incredible. That's amazing. Now, Nima, it's fair to say that you feared for your life in Iran and you now have a new life. Uh, thank you to, to Amber. Uh, what are you doing now? You, you're passing the kindness on. What is it that you're doing now? throughout society. Yeah. And do you think that the pandemic has brought a, a massive shift working from home for people with disabilities? How has that impacted? I know that. Really, really have. Now, we know that you're uh, good friends with Dr James Ooh. Greenwood, who's obviously in our studio oh, yeah. this morning. Did, <laughs> did he help you get your two uh, pet therapy cats? Yes. Martha, you're amazing. And oh, thank he you is. so you much are. for joining us on Morning <laughs> Live this morning. We'll let you catch up with James. Then. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, in ten minutes' time, we'll hear exactly what ballroom star Anton Dubeck has to say about this showdown from Saturday Strictly. Is that Anton? Can we just talk about the honey on the potatoes? Oh. I've done that. It's great. Have you? You can put anything on a roast potato I and then have them cold. It's great. I put lemon rind on mine. Oh, that's known in history. Award-winning TV presenter and historian Dan Snow joins us now. Hi, good morning, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Doing good. good thanks. I bet you've read all of those books, haven't you? The same ones, but that's another <laughs> story. Anyway, listen, Dan, it does feel like we are living in an historic moment at the moment. Um, how do you think that this time will be remembered? Well. Now, people seem to be uh, a little bit obsessed with history right now, don't they, with shows like The Crown? Have you seen The Crown? What do you make of it? For you as well, because I know your dad appeared uh, in it as well. <laughs> that's just incredible. Um, we, I think we've got a bit of ones I'm down the back on, I have to be honest. I sort of lose a bit of interest. I just go step dig, step dig. I'm not in shot. I'm not going to exhaust myself. Um, down the front, I give it the full biff. So he's giving us his tips for the perfect Christmas family quiz. We're going to need that one. Uh, yeah, and Rab will be showing us how to spot fake parcel deliveries. We'll see it now. 15. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.